Hi, my name is Daryl Peterson and I'm the manager of the Applications Engineering Department here at MicroMeasurements. Today, I'm along with one of our new Applications Engineers, Benjamin Ash, and we'd like to take a few minutes and show you some new strain gauges that we're just beginning to offer. These strain gauges are actually very small three element stacked rosettes that we think you might find useful in applications where maybe you don't know the direction of strain or maybe you've got a very small area and you're trying to, to find a gauge that'll fit in a small area or a tight spot. Let me show you two of them. The first one, I'll hold the box up. This one is a C4A06 G1350 dash 120 dash 39p. And what this basically means is that this is a pre-cabled strain gauge that has a three conductor nine feet of wire connected on it and it's a 120 ohm uh, resistance. So if I take this box and open it up, the gauge comes packaged in this red uh, packaging material and I'll take it and open it up and remove it. And let me show you this one. We're pretty excited about it. It's uh, somewhat unique in its uh, structure. Uh, again, it's got nine feet of pre-attached lead wire. And if you look very closely, you'll see it's a very small circular trimmed strain gauge. A G1350 has that circular trim on it. And it's a very small three element stacked rosette with this flex circuit that allows you to be able to transition from that small gauge back over to the lead wire that's gonna connect over to your electronics. So if you're looking for a three element rosette, small in size uh, with the three grids that you can use to solve for principal strain and direction, uh, this is one of the ones you uh, should consider. Now we have another one. This one, if we look at the part number, it also starts with a C4A06 031WWA-350-39P. So this one is a 350 ohm, three element stacked rosette. And this one also has nine feet of cable that's pre-attached. And let me show it to you. So I'll take the box, open it up. And again, it also comes in the, the red packaging material, the red plastic bag. I'll take that out. And again, you can see this one has uh, the cables that are pre-attached. These are uh, vinyl insulated cables. And if you look closely at the strain gauge, you'll see that it's a three element uh, stacked rosette. It also has the flex circuit on it. This is our new transition technique to go from the three element rosette to this ribbon style cable. We think that you might find this to be a little bit easier to work with than the standard little thin uh, solid copper enamel insulated wire. But if you've got applications where maybe it's on a printed circuit board assembly, uh, maybe it's on a part that has a very localized stress concentration like close to a weld, or maybe you've got a hole drilled in something, you might want to consider using these strain gauges because these can help really isolate the point of measurement down to a very small area. And also it's pre cable So you just have to focus on getting the gauge installed and then taking the wires and connecting it into your electronics. Now we'd also like to show you an installation video and we're gonna use one of these gauges and that's what Ben's gonna do for us. He's gonna put one of these small three element rosettes onto a small composite beam. And we'll get started with that now. 